When it comes to weddings, Americans are letting the good times roll, spending an average of 16% more on tying the knot last year than in the previous year. Here with the story is Market Watch's Quentin Fatral. Quentin, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So, how much was the average American wedding last year? So, people were spending $31,213 on the average American wedding. And that's up about 4.5% over the previous year and 16% from 2010, which is a recent low after the recession. Wow, so that must mean Americans are feeling pretty good about their finances, right? Right, so it means, well, absolutely. If people are spending on, on, on the, the, the biggest day of their life and the most expensive day of their life, right. you would hope that uh, it bodes well for the rest of the economy. Absolutely, and there were, of course, some regional variations here. Tell us, not surprisingly, the most expensive place to have your wedding is right here in Guess our hometown. Guess where? Manhattan, <laughs> where I won't be getting married if I ever find somebody to marry me. That's $76,328, wow. according to the wedding On website. average. Yes, the not <laughs> Com, which provided this data um, after like Long Island, North Central New Jersey, 53,986, Westchester, Hudson Valley, New York, a lot on the north uh, around this area actually. Very expensive. And Chicago mm -hmm. was, 50, was just over, uh, just under 51,000. And where are some of the least expensive places to get married? So married? actually, Utah, uh, 15,257 dollars. Nice. It's nearly five times less than. Um, then Manhattan, Arkansas, North Dakota, South Dakota. Don't know whether you want to go there on your honeymoon, maybe. Oklahoma, maybe. Idaho, Oregon. Beautiful. Very. Beautiful place. $19,000. You could have your honeymoon there, too. It sounds like a bargain. Now, when you break down this average of $31,000 a year, roughly, where are the big chunks of that going? Right. So, obviously, the biggest chunk, which is about $14,000, uh, mm -hmm. is on a venue. 3,587 on the reception band. Mm -hmm. That's 5,855 on an engagement ring, which they've included in this uh, $2,500 or thereabouts on a photographer, and over $2,000 on f a florist or decor. I mean, that That's seems a lot. like a lot. I tell you this, I've been to so many weddings, I cannot tell you any of the flowers at any of the weddings of ever Yes, but maybe you would have noticed that they weren't there. You didn't notice them because they were there. <laughs> no, I don't okay, know. That's... I like flowers, but yes, you're right. That's a lot of money. That's too profound for I me. I also right. hour of the day. <laughs> I also think it's interesting, though, that that $31,000 is a, just about the same amount that can be used for something else very important. Give or take $92. There's a $92 difference between a 15% down payment on a median-priced home uh, worth 208 thousand seven hundred dollars uh, according to hsh.com so it's basically and we've had this discussion before you have a down payment on a home yes or splurge it on the wedding videographers and flowers home, and wedding. also the uh, census uh, bureau came out with details this week that 17 percent of couples will remarry so if you're going to get married twice you might get the wanna, home <laughs> you might want to get the home well you're gonna have to Split split that the, but at least you have some assets to split. Right, or you're going to pay double the $31,000 on your wedding. So you're going to pay, and if you're getting married in Manhattan, you're going to be paying, paying a lot, 150000 on your wedding. And on that cheery note, Quentin <laughs> Fidrell, thank you so much you're for welcome. that. When it comes to weddings, Americans are letting the good times roll, spending an average of 16% more on tying the knot last year than in the previous year. Here with the story is Market Watch's Quentin Fatral. Quentin, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So, how much was the average American wedding last year? So, people were spending $31,213. On the average American wedding, and that's up about four and a half percent over the previous year, and sixteen percent from 2010, which is a recent low after the recession. Wow! So that must mean Americans are feeling pretty good about their finances, right? Right. So it means, well, absolutely. If people are spending on on, on the, the the biggest day of their life and the most expensive day of their life, right, you would hope that. Uh, it bodes well for the rest of the economy. Absolutely. And there were, of course, some regional variations here. Tell us, not surprisingly, the most expensive place to have your wedding is right here in Guess our hometown. Guess where? Manhattan. <laughs> where I won't be getting married if I ever find somebody to marry me. That's $76,328, wow. according to the wedding On website. On average. Yes, the not 
Ancestry.com, which provided this data um, after like Long Island, North Central New Jersey, 53,986, Westchester, Hudson Valley, New York, a lot on the north uh, around this area actually. Very expensive. And Chicago mm -hmm. was, 50, was just over, uh, just under 51,000. And where are some of the least expensive places to get married? So actually, Utah, uh, 15,257 nice. dollars. It's nearly five times less than um, than Manhattan, Arkansas, North Dakota, South Dakota. Don't know whether you want to go there on your honeymoon. Maybe Oklahoma. Maybe Idaho, Oregon. Beautiful, Very, beautiful place. Nineteen thousand dollars. You could have your honeymoon there too. It sounds like a bargain. Now, when you break down this average of thirty-one thousand dollars a year, roughly, where are the big chunks of that going? Right. So obviously, the biggest chunk, which is about fourteen thousand, uh, mm -hmm. is on a venue. 3,587 on the reception band. Mm -hmm. That's 5,855 on an engagement ring, which they've included in this uh, $2,500 or thereabouts on a photographer, and over $2,000 on f a florist or decor. I mean, that That's seems a lot. like a lot. I tell you this I've been to so many weddings, I cannot tell you any of the flowers at any of the weddings of ever Yes, but maybe you would have noticed that they weren't there. You didn't notice them because they were there. <laughs> no, I don't okay, know. I like flowers, but yes, you're right. That's a lot of money. That's too profound.